My beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're gonna do a little casual get ready with me I actually just got home from a long weekend trip I was gone for four days and I feel like I did a really good job packing my travel makeup which sometimes is something that I struggle with I do tend to overpack while simultaneously forgetting things <laughs> I am a hundred percent the person that brings like five eyeshadow palettes and then forgets a brow pencil. <laughs> but recently I think I've honed my travel makeup packing skills and I always like these more casual just chill get ready with me type of videos. I'm gonna combine these two. I'm gonna show you what's in my travel makeup bag and give you a little bit of my thought process while I'm selecting things and packing my travel makeup and I'm also going to show you what I brought. I like using a bag this size. This one's from Wishful. That's the Huda skincare brand. And I really restrict myself to only one bag. And I put all my tools and everything in here. So this doesn't have my skincare. I do pack my skincare with my toiletries since I store that in a different room. But all of my brushes, all of my makeup, everything that I use when I'm putting my makeup on, all has to go in one bag. That's the first thing because that really helps me to not go overboard. The palette I brought with me is my Tarte Man Eater palette. This travels really well. It fits perfectly inside the bag that I chose and I got a lot of different looks. I can do easy two shadow looks. I could do a couple fun colorful looks, really sparkly and even some like sultry smoky looks for when I went out in the evenings. And it has this nice big mirror in here, sturdy packaging. This was just the perfect travel palette. I'm actually not going to wear this today in the get ready with me because I am going to film a tutorial for another palette that I'm going to be reviewing but just so you know I just brought one eyeshadow palette and it was perfect. Another thing that I like to do is pack in sections so I want to grab all of my base makeup things like foundation, concealer, all of that type of thing all in one go. Then I do my cheek colors all in one go, blush, bronzer, highlighter, and I try to select the things that I reach for most often. And I don't wanna have too many options. I don't really need a lot of options. I just go for the top one, maybe two in each category that I've really been using a lot lately. And then if my one makeup bag that I'm filling up starts to get too full then I can go back and pare down anything where I brought two options but that typically works really well for me. I also like to toss in some makeup wipes because I do use my hands a lot when I'm applying makeup and I also like to be able to wipe off a brush or a surface if I need to so I always like to grab a pack of makeup wipes as well. I realized recently that one of my major stumbling blocks when I was over packing my makeup was this idea that not only did I need a lot of options, but I had to fulfill some sort of weird checklist. I don't know if I just was conditioned to pack these things or I maybe was afraid that I might want them or need them. Best example I can give you is setting powder and bronzer. You'll notice as I'm showing you all the things that I use here, which is all the things that I packed, that I don't have those things. And I don't typically use them in my day-to-day -day routine. So I don't know why I always felt like I had to have so many options and a little bit of everything when really for a four-day trip, I'm just gonna be wearing my day-to-day -day makeup anyway and I realized that it's not the typical makeup bag checklist because I don't wear foundation. I do mix two different concealers. I don't use a setting powder. I typically just like to layer my blushes instead of doing bronzer and contour and all that stuff. So now that I have really realized that's why I was overpacking, that's why I had so much stuff that I wasn't really reaching for, and maybe that sounds silly to you. Maybe this has never been an issue for you. And I just had to come to this realization as a almost 37-year-old woman. But 
I was packing what I thought I was supposed to need and not what I actually like to wear. I had this idea of this aspirational travel makeup that just isn't my reality. It never made me comfortable. It never made it quick and easy to do my makeup. And now that I've sort of let that aspirational travel makeup idea go and I just pare down to my absolute favorite things, what I actually wear and not what I think I'm supposed to wear. It's really simplified both packing and doing my makeup while I travel. Now, one more thing I want to mention, I'm going to show you all my tools and brushes here in a minute. There's one thing I forgot. It is a pair of tweezers. They're so little that they were lost in my makeup bag. So aside from that, you'll have seen every single thing that was in my makeup bag in this video. This is the foundational part of my look that I did basically the same way every single day. Sometimes I didn't layer my blushes, sometimes I went for more or less coverage, but overall this was the base of what I did every day. And then I only brought two lip colors. I brought a gloss, this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Stone, and I brought a liquid lipstick. I kinda cheated on the lips because I also carried a purse with me and I had a couple of lip colors in there too. I know I had one of my Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stains in there and I had another shade of this NYX Smooth Whip Lip in there. So kind of and brought four shades, but I only packed two. <laughs> Then the only other things in my bag besides that Tarte Man Eater palette were my Party Proof Primer, my eyeshadow primer. I brought this mini Rare Mascara and my Lash Curler. I packed five face brushes and four eyeshadow brushes. And that was really all I needed. I was able to do all the looks I wanted to do. Sometimes I had to kind of rinse off, clean off my eyeshadow brushes when I wanted to switch up colors from day to day. This was really all I needed brush wise. And then of course I brought my lash curler. If I just wanted a quick little kind of sprucing up for brunch or like a daytime activity, I would just wear the Salt New York Sneaky Balm and a little bit of the cream blush. And I curled my lashes, put on a little bit of mascara, a little bit of brow gel, and really just kept it very, very simple. I haven't had enough coffee yet type of look, but I was really happy with what I brought. I didn't feel like I was lacking anything. I felt like I was able to adapt the things that I brought to fit whatever my situation was gonna be for that day. So here's the rundown on my main packing tips, just if you need a little TLDR from this video. First of all, stick to one bag. Obviously, if you're going on a trip for like two months, maybe that's not feasible, but for a long weekend for four days, stick to one bag, pack in sections. So instead of just willy-nilly grabbing a palette and a mascara and a concealer and then a blush, do all of your face products. If it helps, maybe think about the order in which you do your steps. For me, I always do my face first and then my eyeshadow, so it might be more useful for you if you're somebody that does eyeshadow first to do those products first and go in order of the way you apply your makeup. That way you don't accidentally forget a step. Don't forget your primers. Don't forget your brow gels. Those are the things I always forget. <laughs> my last tip, or I guess what works best for me, is just sticking to my favorites. I know that when I'm on a trip, it's not the time that I'm going to suddenly decide that I like full coverage foundation. I don't want to overwhelm myself with choices and I also don't want to set myself up to have a bunch of products that I don't feel super comfortable with. For me, when I'm packing for a trip, it's not really the time for me to experiment. I want to pick things that are my tried and true that I know are going to make me feel really good, be easy to use, and also I don't really like to use new things on a trip because I don't want to cause myself to have a breakout or a reaction or something. But I mean, I guess that's kind of up to personal discretion for you. I would love to hear about your process. How do you think through choosing your makeup? How do you make sure you don't skip anything? Are you an overpacker? Are you somebody who chronically forgets things? I always love to hear what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts, all your travel essentials down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Zoom out a little bit more. Fresh, dewy, blushy, glowy. It's the vibe. Hello. <laughs>
just started watching season six of Riverdale on Netflix and that show is wild. What is happening? I feel like they really leaned into the whole like this show's been on long enough so let's just do a bunch of super super weird plot lines that don't actually make any sense to anybody. They really took that idea and just ran with it. When I tell you I used every single piece of makeup and every single brush that I brought with me, it was like a Christmas miracle. Hello? Me and my Hello Kitty mug and my casually sweaty cheeks are just, we're living our best life. It's nine o'clock in the morning. It's too early to be functional. And yet I feel like I did a decent job keeping my life together. I'm way better at packing my makeup than I am at packing clothes. I cannot figure out how to pack clothes. I cannot figure out how, what kind of outfits I'm gonna want. I went somewhere that's colder than where I live, so that just really threw me off. I'm much more qualified to tell you about packing makeup than I am to tell you about packing outfits. I just end up wearing jeans in the same rotation of t-shirt and sweaters and comfy shoes because I don't know I was on a trip where I walked around a lot so you gotta have those comfy shoes. I'm an old lady now okay. Oh my gosh I'm just kidding. Every time I make a joke about that people are like you're not old. No I know I'm just being sarcastic okay calm down. Also I am kind of YouTube old. <laughs> have you seen the people on social media? <laughs> <sighs> Okay, I'm like TikTok old. I don't care, I like being old. I think the obsession with youth is a little bit, it's a little bit overrated. Trust me, being in your 30s is way better than being in your 20s. Just my opinion, I know everybody's got a different lived experience, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna go film some more stuff for you so that I can have videos to post on the internet for my job. Okay, nailing it. I love your face. Thanks for watching. You're cool, cute, awesome, and special. And I'll see you real soon. Okay, bye.